This exhibition is about Mars, but it's not just about Mars. It's about what it takes for human beings to go to Mars and explore it. The idea of sending human beings to Mars is an incredible challenge. We don't know what's going to happen to people when they go. We don't know how we're going to get them there. We don't know what kind of effects that being in space will have upon them. We don't even know what will happen to them psychologically or emotionally. You can imagine being in a tin can 150 million kilometers away from home, all on your own. The nearest communication you have with home takes 20 minutes to get there. So you're completely isolated. For a thousand days, that crew might be away from the Earth. What will they eat? How will they even go to the bathroom? What happens to the poo and the pee when they're done with it? And then when we're just thinking about that crew existing in a small spacecraft for months after months after months in a microgravity environment, how will they deal with bone demineralization or space sickness? What does that even feel like? Well, we want to give you a taste of that. We might put you in a chair and spin you around a few times and see how good you are at performing a simple task. Then begin to think about that sort of dizzying effect being a permanent one because that's what a lot of astronauts have to deal with when they're up in space. When you go out into space, you're exposed to incredible levels of radiation. How do we protect astronauts from that radiation? How do we help them deal with the effects of that radiation? When they get to Mars, they're going to be uh, in a completely alien world, possibly looking for alien life, or at least trying to examine the geological history of Mars. How will they do that? What are the tools that they need in order to survive? Some of these problems are simple ones. How do you put together a set of gloves that can work adequately on Mars so an astronaut can easily take rock samples or fix up this, their habitat? That sounds like a simple problem, but it's actually incredibly technically difficult and challenging. Just try opening up a Ziploc bag where, while wearing ski gloves and you'll see how challenging that is. What happens if someone gets seriously ill or dies? What do you do with their body? These are questions that we have and that ethicists are struggling with when they begin to consider uh, what it means to go out exploring the rest of the universe. What happens if we do find life on Mars? What are the implications then? We don't know what the answers to these questions are, but there's some of the things that we're trying to understand and we're doing that through this exhibition. This exhibition asks ourselves some very difficult questions about what it is to be a human being and what it means to go exploring. Where does the line end of exploration and exploitation begin? Should human beings explore other worlds like this? Are we ready to ask and answer some of those profound questions about life? Who gets to go? Do we send military people? Do we send scientists? Is it a multicultural crew? Does it reflect the entire world or is it just a single nation? We don't know the answers to any of these questions as to what works best when we're trying to select a crew to send. And just the lives that these people will have will be radically different from anything that anyone else has ever experienced. We don't know the kinds of things that they'll be facing. So what we're trying to do with this exhibition is to begin to give visitors an idea of some of the incredible challenges that we face when we try and send people to explore another world.